this chapter we will learn how we can create vertex animation using the shaders to learn vertex animation we will create a waving flag shader so first we will understand what we are going to do with our mesh in order to create a waving flag and we will understand how we are going to manipulate the vertex positions of the mesh consider that these are the coordinates of our world and we have a mesh here and we will be applying our flag shader on this mesh and it should wave like a flag like a sine wave so first thing we understood that we will use a sine function to create a wave second thing over time which corresponding vertices we want to move and how much do we want to move if this plane is lying on the floor that means if it's facing x and this is z and this is y in that case all the vertices at a certain z value should wave all together or they should move all together with the same displacement so in this case all these vertices will move all together so they will all be moved up here similarly all these vertices at this axis should go down in the same way all the vertices at this z position should move up all the vertices here should move down and all the vertices at this z position should stay there so how we would know that these are the vertices that are at a certain z axis value and we know that in a mesh we have texture coordinates that starts from 0 and 0 from top right so if we move the vertices with a certain value at a certain texture coordinate axis we will be able to move all the vertices together so now we understood two things that we will be using a sine function another we will be using texture coordinates so let's get back to our unity project and start creating the shader so we are in the unity project and i have created this sample model and a flag onto which we will apply our flag shader i have brought in this mesh and saved the scene under scenes chapter 9 word animation so what we will do is we will go to the shader dev folder and i will duplicate circle blinking shader and i will rename it as word nm flag so you would know it's a vertex animation shader and it's a waving flag shader so double click that and this will open the shader in the mono develop so first as we have been doing we will create a separate function which we will call vertex flag animation and i will create this function over draw line let's name the function vertex flag nm and what it will be returning it will be returning a modified position of the vertex which will be a float for value after that i will also clean up the shader because we are not doing anything with the patterns in this function so i will take all these circle functions and delete them I will also be removing the parameters and I will also remove the properties so it's a bit more clean shader and I will comment out this line for now first we will find out where we are going to use our function we will be using our function inside the vertex shader and in order to use it inside the vertex shader we will have to declare this function 
or we will have to define this function above vertex shader and this is our vertex shader function what we will do we will take the position that is coming from our mesh and then we will modify it so we will return the value 